Hey YouTubers, this is Danny here coming to you from my bedroom. But um, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things tonight. I've been watching Guy Madden films and like I've been a really, really just ultimate fan of his. And he, like, if you haven't had a chance, if you don't even know who Guy Madden is, I suggest that you go on to Google and type in his name and, like, order or, like, buy one of his DVDs or just watch it online for free. Um, yeah, it's awesome. He has the most beautiful cinematography ever. And um, most of the movies that I've seen from him are actually in black and white. So it's like almost, he's, it's through his perception of like a dream, like foggy 1920s, 1940s state of, like, don't get me wrong, his films aren't for everyone. Um, basically, if you have a problem with like, more arts year like I have to get the underlining theme of the whole movie it's probably not for you um I don't suggest that anyone under 17 watch those videos because sometimes uh vi there's themes of violence and nudity and sexual and drug themes in some of his um, movies um one of, actually two of my favorite ones are actually Brand Upon the Brain and the new one that I just watched like a couple, like actually I think I finished it, I'm not sure if I finished watching it last night, I was just so tired, but or the night before that, but it was called Keyhole. And just look these up or at least look the trailers up and like give it a go because honestly he is my favorite director and he's so wonderful and he has a wonderfully creative mind when it comes to silent film movies or just doing a black and white film like amazing I love it and one of my favorite characters that was in Keyhole her name was Denny and she, like this is like a spoiler alert so if you don't really want to know what's going on just kind of like cut the video off right now but like you'll probably know like what happened to her like within the first couple of minutes in the movie so it's not really that big of a spoiler but she actually drowned I want to say in a lake or a river and she came with the um, main character back to the house and she was wearing like this 1940s style dress and I'm just like oh my god that's so gorgeous like I would love to actually like mind you she's like drin drenching wet she like it has like those old style like print floral prints on it but it was dark and it had sleeves that like came to right here and then during a few minutes more minutes within the film she has to change her dress into another character's dress and I'm like thinking okay maybe this is like 1930s 1940s film era or whatever they're trying to portray um and it had like a butterfly sleeve which was actually gorgeous and I'm and with the buttons all the way down coming up like the dress totally opens up and I'm just thinking oh my god I want to wear one of those dress dresses so I got my little sketchbook or whatever that I'm going to kind of dream something up that is very to the likenesses of those dresses and I'm gonna go search for some patterns or maybe I can find something at the thrift store that I can deconstruct and just make my own or just make it up from scratch who knows we'll see but I'm definitely going to be looking out for one of those dresses and I will post like a picture of the or what she looks like or what her character looks like in the dress that I'm mainly attracted to that I would even like to wear for myself I would I like to have a couple of those dresses to be honest um one thing speaking of 
just the past and old times. I love the 1920s. Um, when I get my apartment in San Francisco, it's going to be one of my main themes, like Art Deco with Cabinet of Curiosity type black, white, and gold and silver in all in my apartment just because I am so in love with oddities. It's kind of cre creepy. I don't really tell a lot of people that, but like I love it because just my love for science, which is so out of this world, and art deco decor. And I was what sprung this on is that I was uh, a long time ago, I had seen this trailer for Baz Luhrmann's The Great Gatsby, which is going to be coming out in movie theaters like this Christmas. I am so excited. It looks wonderful. I would suggest that you go and look at the trailer. They have it on YouTube, the official trailer. It's going to be so good. And if you're a fan of Baz Luhrmann, well, you're probably really going to love it because I loved his take on William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. He did like a wonderful job with that. That's one of the best Romeo and Juliet films, even though it had such a modern take on it. Um, just awesome. And I'm like on a crazy, crazy flapper kick. It's not even funny. Like in my profile pic on YouTube, my hair is cut really short. I, it's, it was actually a weave, to be honest my hair was cut that way and I had like a little fringe and it was just the cutest thing ever. I always got a lot of compliments on it. So I'm thinking that I'm just gonna go back to that for a little bit. That's gonna be so fun. And it didn't help that I watched In Time with Justin Timberlake and Amanda Seyfried. Oh my god, I just loved her style the whole way through. It was a very simplistic. Um, she still kept it modern with the hills and she had her like little cut bob it was really cute and it wasn't your typical black bob it was almost like a reddish brown like it was it was pretty cute on her it was just very very sleek and appropriate for her age even though paying homage back to the 1920s i would like to believe um so i think that's all with what I'm gonna talk about tonight yeah that was a mouthful but I'm so excited about the dress and I'm super super excited about getting my hair done back the way that I had it like a year and a half ago so that's gonna be pretty exciting um oh yeah I forgot have you guys watched death becomes her I, abs I just realized that that movie existed. Well, not realized, but I was just searching up random movies online and I saw it and I was like, ooh, this looks interesting. Let's watch it. Yes, Meryl Streep. I'm a big Meryl Streep fan. She was such, not that she's not now, but when she was younger, she was such a beauty. Oh my gosh. And I was never really a big fan of Goldie Hawn, but Goldie Hawn was gorgeous in this film. And I just think it's funny, like real great dark humor. I'm not sure what it's rated, but I'm pretty sure I want to believe that everybody could, you know, watch this movie is kind of almost it's just dark humor it has some violence in it but it's like a funny type dark violence you know just like bam I'm gonna hit you with the shovel and have your head knock around I know that doesn't sound too um yeah that doesn't sound too fun but or safe or great for children to watch but hey I don't know maybe you should talk to your parents about it who knows but um that's all for tonight and yeah I'll talk to you guys later bye